Hello YouTubers, Alaska Parper here. Ladies and gentlemen, during this winter a lot of people have been asking me how do I hook up my solar panels to either my Blue Eddy or really any solar generator. So I'm going to do this really quick video to explain to you how simple it is in hopes that you're not intimidated by doing this yourself because it is so simple that once you're done with this video you'll have no problem hooking up your own solar generator and really any kind of solar generator. What you're looking at here are my two solar panels. I have more, however, they're still boxed up. I'm only gonna go with two today because hooking up two is just as simple as hooking up four. All right, you'll see what I mean when I get to it. So I have my two solar panels. You see that I have my blue eddy there and I also have my all powers. In addition to that, I have some cables that I'm gonna show you for two different types of connections, either for an MC4 connection or for an Anderson connection. So this is the back of the solar panels that I use, and they're the new POA solar panels. I have these on my Amazon storefront, along with all of the cables that I'm going to go over with you today. I did that in order to make it a lot easier for you to be able to look at everything that you need to hook up your solar panels to your solar generator in one stop. So what we're looking at here is we're looking at the connectors for one of the solar panels. And these are what are called MC4 connectors. And each of these solar panels comes with a negative connector and a positive connector. And they're very easily labeled, so you can't really make a mistake. Even if they were not labeled, ladies and gentlemen, it is what I like to call dummy proof. Why? Because I can do it. That means that anyone can do it. These MC4 connectors will only hook up one way. It will not allow you to hook it up the wrong way. So it really is dummy proof. So let me show you the wire harnesses that you're going to need and the connectors that you're going to need in order to hook this up to either an MC4 connector or to hook it up to an Anderson connector. First of all, if you have a Blue Eddy, it should have come with a wire that looks like this. It should have a red wire for your positive and it should have a black wire for your negative. And you'll see what I mean when I say that you cannot hook these up the wrong way. Now this is only set up to be hooked up to one solar panel. So if you're going to hook up two solar panels, you're going to get a wire harness that looks like this. And it comes in a set of two. It has one that connects to your positive on both sides. So you're going to hook these up to your positives on both sides. And then you have one that connects to your negative on both sides. And you're going to do the same thing. Once you have those two connected to your solar panels, you're going to go ahead and connect this wire to this end over here. Very simple. Now, if you have a solar generator that takes something other than an eight millimeter connector, they do sell a little bag that has different size connectors like this one right here this is the one that my all powers will take i believe this is like a 2.2 millimeter or something like that i don't remember exactly what it is but they sell a small bag with several different size connectors and it's like six or seven dollars it's not really a lot and it hooks up to your eight millimeter so that you can use this for smaller generators as well now this is your anderson connector that has an MC4 splice in it. All right, so you can actually use your MC4 connectors with those solar panels to hook up to a solar generator that accepts an Anderson input connector. All right, so very simple as well. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I hook these up to my solar panels because it's very simple. Then I'm gonna connect it to my Blue Eddy with the eight millimeter. And then I'm gonna also connect it to my all powers with the smaller connector. So as I stated before, ladies and gentlemen, this is extremely easy to hook up. So what you're going to do is, is these are one from each solar panel. So you have one from the solar panel over here and one from this solar panel here. So what you're going to do is you're going to hook up this splicer right here to each of your solar panels. See that? And let me show you really quick how I said that it's dummy proof. See, this is the negative, right? This is the negative. You can't hook it up. This will only hook up to the right one. You can't hook it up to the wrong one. So let's go ahead and hook these both up together. Now that side is done. Now let's do the other side. Same thing with this one right here, right? This one, as you can see, they have the same endings or the same leads, whatever you want to call it. I'm not very good with technical terms, ladies and gentlemen, right? So you're going to take the other side right here. You're going to hook it up to one and you're going to hook it up to the other. Now, the nice things about these connectors, ladies and gentlemen, is that they are waterproof. So you can leave these out in the weather. 
if I were going to be leaving these out in the weather, like overwintering, what I would do is I would put a little bit of tape around this, right? But if you're going to have it somewhere where it's not exposed to the weather, then it'll be fine. It should be just fine without you doing anything. But if I were going to do that, I'd just go ahead and add a little bit of extra security by putting a little electrical tape around here and making sure that it's nice and sealed. So now we are ready to hook this up to the wire that the Blue Eddy comes with so that we can hook it up to the Blue Eddy. And that's how easy it is, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go ahead and hook it up to the Blue Eddy and see how much power the sun is generating this time of the day. It's still pretty early, so the sun is not straight overhead, but we should still be able to get some power generating out of this. Now, these here are the wires that came with the Blue Eddy, and these are the ones that are going to connect directly to the Blue Eddy. And like I said, you cannot hook it up wrong. See, you can't hook these two together, no matter what you do. You can only hook up the right one with the right one. So what we do is get that together. Click that together, and it is now ready to connect to your solar generator, ladies and gentlemen. That's how easy it is. This is not rocket science. This is one of the reasons why I really like solar generators is because it's very easy to hook them up. They're transportable, so you can take them with you anywhere you want, and you can hook up as many solar panels as you want. And even if you hook up more than 500 watts worth of solar, for example, with the Blue Eddy, it will only accept a total of 500 watts. Now, I'm not going to go into a more technical aspect with you right now. There is a way to charge your Blue Eddy a little faster, and it's by increasing the voltage. It will accept up to 60 volts, I do believe. I'd have to double check that, but I believe it will accept up to 60 volts. And you can actually hook up your solar panels in series, which means that right now we have them hooked up in parallel, which means that the power that's going to be coming out of this end is going to be 12 volts. But if we hook them up in series, since each of those solar panels are 12 volts each, then we would be able to get 24 volts out of it. I believe that the Blue Eddy will take up to 60 volts at one time. However, I believe that the slower that you charge a battery, the better that it is for the battery long term. So I don't mind leaving it out here and letting it charge. Let's go ahead and connect it to the Blue Eddy and see if we're generating any power. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is pretty awkward. It's so bright out here that I'm going to do my best so that you can see the screen. And right there, you should have seen the unit turn on. It's showing that it's full, but it's not. I drained some out of it this morning. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and hook up my 8 millimeter connector to it. And you should see it start generating power as soon as it recognizes that it's hooked up to the solar panels. And there you go. I really hope you're seeing that. If this doesn't work, I'll bring it inside. But I think you'll be able to see it because I can see it from the camera's uh, backside. So as you can see, it's not generating very much power. And there's for a couple of reasons it's not doing that. My solar panels are not properly positioned. All right? I just put them up against this table for now so that I can show you this. And the sun is not at its optimal level right now. And in addition to that, I have a whole bunch of trees that I have to get knocked down this year so that I can get more hours of sunlight so I can generate power from my solar panels. But as you can see, it is definitely taking a charge. It could be a lot better than 21 watts of input power. However, it is taking a charge. And look at that's how easy it is for you to be able to hook this up to any solar panels. All right, now let's go ahead and hook it up to my little all powers solar generator. So here's my eight millimeter connector. And this is my, I believe it's two. I keep saying I believe, but it's just, I'm not sure if it's 2.1 or 2.2 millimeter, but this is the one that goes into my all powers solar generator. So all we do is just put that little connector on there and we just plug it in here. And let me turn it around so that you can see that it's taking power. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so I ended up bringing the all powers inside the house because the sunlight is just too glaring on this uh, LCD panel. So as you can see, the all powers is taking a charge, pretty decent. And I realized what was wrong also with the watts coming into it. The dogs keep walking in front of the solar panels as well. So that's really affecting it. But like I said before, the reason, like right now, they're walking in front of the solar panel. If you saw that turn to eight. And one of the reasons is because of all of the tree coverage that I have here. And that'll be fixed this summer. And the bad news is, is that the Anderson connector that I purchased is the wrong one for this model. So I'm going to have to order another one. 
it's the correct one for the Duracell solar generator, but not the right one for this model. So as you can see, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you got something out of this. I just want to do a quick video to show you how easy it really is to connect this. It's not rocket science. Anybody can do it. Having said that, remember to be good to each other. When good people do good things, good things happen. Remember to reach one, teach one, and repeat. If we all did this, the world would be a better place, and you know that it will be a better place. Many blessings to all of you and your families. This is the last prepper. I am out.